an accused money launderer who made $100,000 bond but remains in jail is the latest person caught in a new skirmish between the feds and the courts. Three times in the past six months, New York federal judges have told authorities they can't have someone in ICE custody when that same person has already made bail. That was Brooklyn federal judge Dora Irizarry's message on Solomon Ben Zayden Bouton, whose ICE custody actually made his criminal case go away. Irizarry said the feds could release Bouton, 36, from immigration custody so he could fight the criminal case while out on his bond. Or, she said, they could keep Bouton in his New Jersey jail and watch her dismiss the indictment. Irizarry tossed the case Wednesday, once assistant U.S. attorney G. Kartik Vasan said Bouton wouldn't be let go. In the three cases, Irizarry and a Manhattan federal judge have noted judicial bail decisions are supposed to control who is detained, not immigration authorities. To fix the issue, the three rulings said prosecutors can go with the criminal case while the person's out on bond, or have immigration authorities go with a removal case while the person's detained. We've certainly seen a shift towards immigration detaining people that a federal magistrate judge has already determined are not a flight risk or a danger, said Isaac Wheeler, immigration specialist at the Federal Defenders of New York, the organization that's represented Bouton and the men in the other rulings. He expects to continue fighting the issue in the months to come. We have heard from at least one local Customs and Border Protection official that they have been told to detain people charged with bringing contraband into the United States, who CBP have routinely released in recent years, Wheeler said. Before the case against Putin, a Panamanian Spanish dual citizen who overstayed his visa, Irizarry made the same ultimatum in November on an illegal re-entry case. When ICE refused to release the man, prosecutors had to drop the indictment. They are now appealing. In a separate July case, Manhattan federal judge Valerie Caproni wrote the legal code WASNT some takeout food menu whereby the government can mix and match bail and immigration laws. Manhattan federal prosecutors opted to let Theodore Galitza stay on bail, and then secured an illegal re-entry conviction at trial. And the Daily News has learned of at least one other pending Brooklyn bid, in which a detained, accused drug smuggler says his case has to get tossed because he's supposed to be out on a $30,000 bond. An ICE spokeswoman declined to comment on pending cases but said the agency keeps its enforcement focus on people posing a threat to national security, public safety and border security. ICE complied with federal laws and agency policy, the spokeswoman said. However, ICE does not exempt classes or categories of removable aliens from potential enforcement. All of those in violation of the immigration laws may be subject to immigration arrest, detention and, if found removable by final order, removal from the United States. A customs rep also declined to comment on pending cases.